Welcome back, my beautiful, lovely subscribers. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I know it's been a few weeks that I was invisible, at least on YouTube, and that is because there is a lot that goes into making each YouTube, and there's a big team behind this camera, believe it or not, and honestly, I just needed a little break, a little digital detox. So I hope you guys understand. And now I'm back, energized, I feel better. And I feel like my content's gonna be better because I am more excited and I am rejuvenated. So if you can, please subscribe now if you haven't already because we're gonna be in for a world of fun. Today, I have a huge announcement. You might have seen behind me what's happened in my living room. I am so excited because I partnered with Eternity Modern and look what happened. Voila. And since so many of you asked today, I'm wearing an outfit entirely by Zara. My top is a cropped button down shirt and my pants are this fun inside out jean, which I really liked, and my shoes are Chanel. I can't tell you how excited I am. I mean, literally dying over this new arrangement. I redo my rooms probably once every five years, only because I've got the itch. And, and I don't mean that kind of itch. I mean the designer itch to redo things and because my soul requires it. By the way, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that if you guys want a 20 minute consultation or an hour consultation by Zoom, you can easily book them. I've met so many of you through Zoom and it's been such a wonderful way to connect and give my opinion, advice on whatever it is that you're working on. The link will be not only in the description section, but it's always in my bio. As you guessed it, these are the Mario Bellini sofas that I'm sure you have seen time and time again. And I tend not to put things in that are ubiquitous, but I have to tell you, I have loved these sofas for eternity and they've been around for at least 80 years. So they're not going to go out of style. They might be less prevalent in about five years and that's really when I uh, change things up anyway, but I don't do it to follow trends. I do it when my heart is full, meaning if I love something, I don't care if it's trendy or not trendy, I just go for it. What I love about the Mario Bellini sofas is that they are modular pieces. Modular pieces that you can literally design the way that you feel will make an impact. You can tie them together. You can separate them. There's an ottoman. There's ones with arms, without arms. So as an interior designer, this is a really great sofa that we present to clients time and time again because we can configure them in a hundred different ways. Not to mention that you can get them in a variety of different colors and you can actually put them in in different colors. So. Perhaps your middle one is a beautiful brown and your other one is an ivory, et cetera, et cetera. I thought about doing that, but decided to just go plain, neutral, simple, because I want other elements in the room to pop as well. What's also fun is that the backs and the arms are tied together with rope with rings and carabiners. So when doing the room layout, room layouts, living room layouts are hugely important. In fact, that's probably one of the most important reasons why you need an interior designer because you could have amazing taste, but if your layout is wrong, that's where I see most of the problems, your room's gonna look like hell, let's just be honest. So we did, of course, as I do for all of my projects, a full uh, demo, a full um, 3D visualization of this room with the sofas in them so that I could configure it the way that I knew would look great before they actually arrived. So we're gonna show you, we're gonna pop this up. As you can see in this little short video, we did a wonderful thing of placing them in positions where we know it was going to work. This room, believe it or not, although it's big, is a little bit tricky because we've got openings on, um, on the corners, we've got steps that come down, we've got things that jog in and jog out. It's actually a complicated room and making sure that these pieces fit properly was very important. This was a complete transformation. So not only did we switch up all the furniture, most of the furniture, but we also brought in a beautiful black olive tree from the Plant Daddies. If you missed the Plant Daddies tree installation, I recommend that you click 
above and take a look at it because there's a lot of interesting information about how to take care of the black olive and why and how we got it in this room. So these are legit mid-century Zanuso chairs. They came all the way from Italy. They're very old. They were definitely built in the 50s. The legs have rusted and I love that. I love having history in my pieces. Again, you wanna mix new with old. You can't just buy all new or all old, you can. That's the one place you can. But if you're gonna have new, you gotta have vintage. So these are my favorite Zanuso chairs. I picked this luscious fabric from Kravit. They almost look and feel like cashmere, but they're not. And I will link all of this information in the text below, in the box below, so that you can buy this fabric as well from Kravit. Why not? This is beautiful fabric. And I just love the way that this has more of a manly sweater vibe to it. And it just really elevates it. Of course, I had the fabric swatch of my ivory sofas, which are here. I ordered these um, Mario Bellinis in the ivory cotton velvet. And then these are more of a cashmere beige color. Funny story, or not that funny. So this coffee table was gifted to me by my parents. It was the coffee table, and I've talked about this before, that I was in my family home growing up. My parents purchased this in 1978 from a design store called Design Duemile in Italy. So three weeks ago, when I was in Rome, I hunted down Design Duemile. Now they didn't have a showroom anymore, they had offices, and we went there and we knocked on the door with my mom and we had the best time because the young gentleman that used to work there was now an old gentleman and he didn't recognize us at all until we gave him our last name and when he heard our name all the memories kept you know just flooded back and we were i mean it was such a great moment to connect with him the main designer, his name was Gigi, had died, unfortunately. Corby had died. A lot of the people that used to work there had passed, which was very sad. But at least uh, we got to see one wonderful um, design uh, consultant, architect, who is now running Design Due Emile. And I told him and showed him a picture of how I love my coffee table, how it's center stage in my home, and how it has so many great memories. So I have a dying question. When this coffee table was in my home growing up, it had many plants in it. And that's why if you look at this planter, this is actually a brass planter, you will notice that it has a lot of patina, which I love. So my question is, do I put plants in here or do I leave it as is? I've just left it open, but I'm thinking of maybe putting plants. What kind of plants and should I do it? I'm scared. Why am I scared? I don't know. The art is from Tom Sachs. It's a limited run from a very interesting artist that incorporates everyday things into art. And as you can see, you've got Chanel, you've got Cup of Noodles, you've got the Trojan branding here. It's really um, a, you know, a mock of our modern society. And I just love this piece. It's a numbered piece. So there were only a few of these that were printed and there was only one run of them. So I was lucky enough to get it. And I haven't committed to where I'm gonna put it because I just don't know yet. So what I do is I lean my artwork in the spaces that I think they're going to live for a little bit. I live with them and then I decide, is this, is this where it's gonna live or am I gonna change it up? So that is why it's leaning right now. I like it. I like the fact that the colors work with the living room. I like a pop of color in my art. I prefer color in my art and not in my furniture. I find that I always regret it. And you guys always tell me that you tend to regret putting things of, you know, major color or a pop of color in your furniture because eventually you get sick of it. I'm never gonna get tired of beige and art, I love it to be colorful. Thank you, my beautiful friends, for tuning in today, for being subscribers, for being loyal and being wonderful. I love each and every one of you. I read all of your comments every single week and I try and answer as many of them as possible, but I do read every single one. So I love you and I can't believe what a great community we have. Thank you for watching and we will see you next week when we're gonna talk about design living room layouts. That's a big one. You don't wanna miss it. See you next week.